Hello, I'd like to talk about a basic diatonic harmonica work. And I offer a basic toolkit. This kit has almost everything you need. Uh, really, the only thing missing is a screwdriver. A screwdriver is very easy to find. and You don't need to spend $20 on a posi drive screwdriver uh, when just a regular, you know, jewelry flathead uh, or a dual, this one's a dual screwdriver, uh, that'll get the job done. And I'm not worried about stripping posi drive uh, screws. They're M1.6 uh, or, or M2, depending on how old your your harmonica is. Spe old, older special 20s have, have M2 screws. They look like this. The newer ones have M1.6, which look like this, and an assortment of replacement screws, better quality screws. These are these are cheap screws, the ones that come in your harmonica. So I'm not too sad if I ever strip the head of one of these screws. I'll just put in a replacement. And you're going to say, well, the replacement has a Phillips head. It doesn't have a posi drive. It works just the same, if not better, right? That I can use any any kind of screwdriver to... Uh, to uh, to use this screw. Why spend twenty dollars on a screwdriver when you can get better screws for eight cents each? Right? So don't worry about the screwdriver, just get any old screwdriver or use one that you already have uh, from the hardware store. Uh, the brass tool, it's a wonderful tool for gapping. Uh, you can reach in there, it's very comfortable to hold in your hand, it's made out of brass so it's pretty, it's uh, heavy and sturdy and it feels warm in the hand. You can change shape, you can uh, apply pressure and counter pressure. Uh, importantly, you can, this is how I look at the shape of a reed. Let's say I'm considering this reed. I'll cast a shadow over the reed and I will press the reed down and look at how the what, what the shadow looks like. You can press down at different inter, different parts of the reed and that helps you determine what shape to to make the reed. Uh, so that's one use uh, of the brass reed uh, the brass reed tool. I didn't cut the uh, the pieces of plastic because it's not worth my time. It doesn't affect airflow, doesn't affect the tone. Uh, I always wonder that if I cut them out, am I going to be distorting, warping the reed plate, uh, warping the, the comb? So I just leave them there and I work, I work around it. Uh, the other tool, uh, it's plinker, reed support tool on this side, reed wrench and tuning tool on this end. So the plinker, uh, I mean this is made out of tool steel, it's flexible and what you need to do is bend it. And, and support the reed. There's one reed here that's very tightly gapped. I mean, here you can see that even a even a piece of paper has trouble. There you go. You have to get it. You have to hit it just right. But even this piece of paper has trouble getting under this reed. So my my reed support tool, if you give it a good curve with your finger, it'll get under that reed, right? So you need you really need to advance at an angle. This has been the tip has been ground down so that it can get under t tightly gapped reeds. Drop your harmonica. The heavier reeds can sometimes come out of alignment, right? They can twist uh, and then they start to buzz. So you can use this reed wrench. This will work on Honer and Seidel harmonicas to get that back into alignment. Harmonica, you take brass off the tip to raise the pitch and you take brass off the bass to lower the pitch. So if I wanted to raise the pitch of this reed, I'd support it and then I'd use the five cent tuner. Let me turn this so you can see what I'm doing. And you scrape some brass off the tip. You can see the little bits of brass coming off there. That would raise the pitch, then I'd check it out. Or if I wanted to lower the pitch, let's do the same, but on the bass. Uh, again, I'm supporting the reed and scratch some brass off the base. I go lengthwise. I don't want to scratch, uh, you know, across the reed because if the reed was a piece of paper and you created 
uh, a width a weakening from left to right you just weaken the reed. remember this special 20 still has the sprues so uh, imagine if this was an out-of-the-box harmonica I haven't even imagine I don't even need to take the screws off I can keep the reed plates on the comb and uh, I can go in and support the reed take some brass off the tip to to uh, to tune the to sharpen the reed uh, or I can use this to flatten the reed by taking brass off the base. Of course on the draw side the reeds are exposed so all you need to do is just support the reed and either sharpen or take brass off the, 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 the end to flatten. So I'll play the one draw, uh, the two draw two draw and one draw together and there's a lot of, I can hear that with my ears, there's a lot of beating two, three, four draw. So that sounds pretty rich. So what's the problem? I think the two draw is a little too sharp. So let's flatten the two draw. Can you see what I'm doing? I should support this. probably wouldn't notice the difference but when you play it along with other notes that's rich I think the one draw can go down a bit too If you work on current Honer harmonicas, they use M1.6 screws. These are 10 millimeters long, so they won't stick out. If you strip the thread, you can always put a nut uh, on that. There's M. This is M2 because it's an older Special 20, but there's M1.6 nuts as well. So if you ever strip the thread off a harmonica, um, cover plates. If you use your cover plate screws. These are special 20 cover plate screws that, that just came from this harmonica, but if I lost one, here's a 12 millimeter, so there you go, there's a 12 millimeter stainless screw and nut to replace any cover plate, uh, any cover plate screw that you might have lost. That's the basic harmonica kit for doing 10 minutes of work or less per harmonica to whip your harmonicas into shape.